Here I'll discuss how to use the command outrag. If you go to help and search, search net resources, type in outrag, O-U-T-R-E-G. We can use the SG97 underscore three and click on, click here to install and this will install the program in your software. And since I already had the files, it didn't install, but in your state, it will install the, uh, soft, uh, the, the this particular program. And these are the help files. So you can check how to use the outrug command. It tells you that you can uh, put brackets. What outrug does is it takes the regression results from your status uh, screen and puts them in a Word file in a table format. Okay, so let's see uh, how we do that. I just ran this regression right now and I want to take this to a word document file so outreg using let's do C directory let's call this file 490.doc let's call this um, 490.doc and it's just created a word file in my C directory called 490 490. Okay. If you've already created one, um, suppose I run this another regression. And I ask it to create again, it will say the file already exists. So if you want to replace the file, you're not happy with your results and you want to create the same thing again, you can use comma replace and it will replace the existing 490, 490.talk. Okay. So let's go ahead and run our first regression. Uh -oh. And I outrag this. I've already have one regression in that file. I want to append this one. That means I want to add another column with these results. And I can yeah. again outright this using this and append. So now I should have three columns or three sets of models that I have run the regression for. Okay. So let's go to the C directory and check our 490, 490.talk. Here we have the three results. You say uh, you select all, and I'm going to just use press and hold control and then press A. So select all, insert table, insert table, and you have all the three models in separate columns. Uh, I did not include these variables in my third model, and I just kept those results as blank. I included did not include this variable in my second uh, model and it kept those as blank so I have all the results and what's interesting is that it already it gives you standard errors in your brackets coefficients are here standard errors and it puts star and double star and if you go to the bottom it tells you what these stars are star is if the results are significant at five percent and double stars are if it's significant at one percent it gives you the observations in each regression. It gives you the R square. In some cases, it will not give you the R square. R square if these are logit commands. Okay. So here we have the three models. You might want to after that um, change the the names of the variables so that they make more sense. This would be knowledge, and then you finally save it as. Sorry, you will save it as a Word 97 2003 document or a Word document. So this is how you use the outright command. Now I want to discuss the do file as well. A do file is a file that consists of all your commands and you don't have to repeat those commands every time you want to run your results or every time you want to mess around with your data. 
So this is the icon for your do file. It says new do file editor. Open an old one, but I wanted a new one, and here it is. Now what I can do in the do file is I can actually pick up my I can pick up my commands. Suppose I write generate um, uh, anemic is equal to maybe say very anemic just to uh, okay it's already defined I want generate t anemic to anemic so I, I just have a, a few commands that I'm creating right now and I can put them in the do file control V and then I want to maybe run a regression and this would be my regression I again copy and paste in my do file you have to remove these uh, less than equal to sign these were created because you did not have enough space so I just remove them this is how the regression looked like and then I had my outright command control C and then I can save it it'll save it as a do file and let's just save it in C again computer C and I'll save it as 490 so it will save it as 490 do file and then whenever you open stata it will open the stata and if you ask uh, stata to run this do file all you have to do is say do current file or run current file and it will repeat all the commands that you already had okay so if I say current it just runs all the commands so you can have your regressions and outright commands and every time you want to change something you just change it in your do file and you can have the new results okay, so this is a do file and that was that all right guys good luck have fun